for the last four years, I've been working to develop a protocol for MDMA-assisted psychotherapy for post-traumatic stress disorder. This paradigm was not acceptable 35, 40, 45 years ago. Are we at that point in time now where we will be able, in a sanctioned manner, to move, move this field forward? At least get rid of the fear and, uh, and find a setting uh, within which uh, this can be done safely and, uh, and, uh, and carefully, thoughtfully. We had many powerful technologies of consciousness. We know very easily how to alter consciousness, how to go to different states, but uh, bridging that gap between what we find there and our everyday reality, and everyday life, that has been the challenge. People go there, find love, find compassion, find transformation, but then later they go to their everyday life and the uh, usual patterns come back. This is not a black and white thing. All medicines can have good applications and have, have side effects and be dangerous in the wrong circumstance. Feeling that we are uh, less safe than we actually are. You know, feeling threatened on some level and feeling that we have to be in control, in charge. Um, this, this can be seen from uh, the individual dimension to the collective dimension what was happening between the United States and the Soviet Union where you know we produced so many uh, atomic uh, missiles that uh, you know if one percent of it would be used it would be all over. We want to be so safe that we actually create a very unsafe uh, world. So a lot of this kind of inauthentic uh, tendencies, the tendency to constantly uh, have more of what we have, you know, need to double, triple the gross national product as something that's guaranteed a good living standard. It's, it's just a fallacy. And, you know, the, the uh, countries that have achieved that, that have achieved a high level of, uh, of economic standard, don't uh, necessarily benefit from it emotionally. Actually, there's more violence, there's more suicide, there's more uh, alcoholism, addiction, uh, divorce, and so on. So there's no, there's no connection, direct connection between economic uh, achievement and uh, sense of well-being. We're all in it together, and uh, we are, are kind of synergistically looking for, for answers in a way that involves, you know, a lot of the deeper wisdom that comes from, from uh, self-exploration, self-understanding.